What if I told you that almost every Mimic monster you've encountered has their own original backstory? No, I'm not talking about the game's lore, but the actual monster origin, according to Japanese legends. Well, today I'll go over through the monster's backstory and comparing it to the original monster it was based on, and let's find out if the Mimic is also a Japanese legend correct. First up, we have Hiachi. She can be seen as a hostile monster roaming around the underground school maze, humming the Phasmophobia ghost hum consistently, and can be seen shaking her head violently when killing Yasu. She has long black hair, dark eye sockets with dark liquid dripping from her eyes, her usual large pink hat, a wide demonic grin as it was a forced smile, and she wears a long pale white dress that goes all the way down to her knees. However, according to Japanese legend, Hachi Shakusama is an 8 foot tall monster who wears a wide summer dress and a wide brim hat. She feeds on children who are 9 to 11 years old, mainly due to the fact that children are independent on elder family relatives, which Hachi Shakusama can mimic to lure her victims. On our second list, we have Biwaki. In game, she can be encountered just behind the entrance to Awari village. Walking up close to her only leads to her disappearance. She can also be found in the Hurtle maze, where she is wandering around, ready to strike down Yasu with her biwa. She possesses a small body of a child, with a white dress, long dark hair tied in a bun, a flower crown, and bears a brown colored biwa. But in Japanese mythology, Biwaki goes by the name Benzaiden. She is one of the Shichi Fuku Jin. The Seven Gods of Luck. She is a god of literature, music, wealth, and femininity. And according to one legend, she apparently married a Japanese sea dragon as well. Quite questionable, but okay. But the only common things both of these monsters have is that they have a flower crown resting on their head with their hair tied in a bun, and the fact that they both possess a biwa. Up next we have Shizu. In game, she is a tall grey stone statue that holds a similar dress to Hiachi. Her eye sockets and mouth are wide open, revealing nothing. But before she took this statue form, she was a sculptor. Then one day, a tall woman behind her, giving her a butterfly. The sculptor squished the butterfly. Weeks passed, and one night the moon rose, beaming its light reflected on the sculptor's skin. Then, slow and steady. She turned into a statue she once sculptured, but according to Japanese myths, Shizu was based on the monster Takaunas. They are female yokais who haunt the red light districts and feed off desire. According to myths folklore wiki, there was a tale of a woodcutter who described how he discovered that his own wife was a Takauna. His child mysteriously disappeared. Unable to figure out what was happening, the woodcutter began to investigate his wife. One night, while pretending to sleep in bed, he witnessed his wife jump into a well and then elongate her body and climb back out. He leapt out of the bed and fled into the mountains, never to return. On our fourth list, we have Kariko. She has flexible pale arms with claws of a demon. She has straight black hair and has a creepy smile exposing her gums and teeth, and she currently wears a thin dress very similar to Hiachi. Kariko currently roams around the hotel maze, crawling, trying to strangle Yasu. There are two Karikos, one crawling on the floor, and another one crawling on the ceiling. According to Japanese legend, there was a woman called Keiko Seke. She was repeatedly stabbed by her husband. After her passing, her spirits haunted the household killing anybody and everybody who dares to step foot into her property. Both of these monsters have a lot in common, but the only differences is their facial appearance. Kariko has a creepy smile, while on the other hand, Kayako doesn't. For our fifth monster, we have Megumi. In game, she wanders around the library, extending her neck to abnormal lengths. She appears to wear a kimono dress and has greyish white skin, wavy black hair, and she also has a pale face with a mouth 
I mean mouth open wide with dark hollow eye sockets dripping a dark liquid upon killing you she shakes her head violently with a granny jump scare sound in the background but according to Japanese legend a long neck woman called the Rakura Kubi sometimes eats small animals and licks the oil off lamps but at night they might fright you on purpose or unintentionally Next on our list, we have Kasunoki. In game, he wanders around near a samurai statue. He appears to be a giant samurai, wearing a black Santa Gaza hat, along with a red scarf wrapped around his neck. He also wore a black Nagagi and wields a very large katana, which he uses to write, I mean strike down at the player. His head also consisted of a dark skull, glowing with white pupils in the dark dim light. But before he became this monster, he was a 32 year old samurai who was capable of sealing the four beasts, Kintaro, Enzukai, Yuma and Netamu. He fought them for 10 nights and 10 days and sealed them around the earth. Now the beasts are just wandering souls. But according to historical events, Kasunaki Master Siege was a Japanese samurai born in the Kamakura period. He was considered as one of the greatest military strategists in Japanese history and a legend figure due to the loyalty and devotion he displayed to his emperor, Go Daigo. If you compare it to the mimic version and the version he was based on, there were hardly any differences. They looked very very similar from my point of view, nor they were evil. Our seventh monster is Shaku and Shaka Abomination. Shaku consisted of a tubby face, a pure white skin tone with cracks on both her arms and face, and a pair of black empty eye sockets. She also appears to have smooth dark hair with her bangs covering her forehead. Her clothes consisted of a gaudy white dress with white accents. For Shaka Abomination, her face remains the same as Shaku's while her body looks like a blob and she uses her limbs to crawl. But both monsters are held captive in the hospital maze, which consisted of a key and a glowing blue butterfly spirit. According to Japanese legend, a young boy named Akichi Shizuki bought a doll. The doll was a gift from his travels for his two-year-old sister, Akiku. Akiku loved her new doll and it served as her companion till she passed away from a cold-like illness at three years old. Okiku's family placed her doll on the household altar, where they prayed for the memory of Okiku. Soon, they realized that the doll's hair began to grow, as if there was hair on the head of a human. The family concluded that the spirit of Okiku was now trapped inside the doll, giving the doll the name of its former owner, Okiku. But apparently, the family gave the doll to the Benenji, where she still remains there till this day. For our next monster, we have Sama. She wanders around a Kuyami village and appears to resemble a woman with abnormal monster features. She has sharp long nails which she uses to stab Yasu. She wears a solace social light hat with a pale face, long black hair and dress. She is one of the four beasts that Kasunaki sealed off and is the monster that tormented Yasu throughout the four chapters and has the ability to shape shift into the witch. Amukade, Segamo, and the Centipede. According to legend, Jorogumo is a type of yokai that takes its form of a spider that can change its appearance into a woman that preys on handsome men who are looking for love. When Jorogumo spots a man, she invites him into her home. Then she spins silk threads strong enough to ensure the man cannot escape and injects the man with a powerful venom that slowly weakens him day by day. 